Loud music is loud. Let's get out of here. And I never have to go in there again, thank goodness. Okay, so you probably could have figured it out on your own just by looking at uh, my previous video. But I'm going to go ahead and translate the tree right here. Let's see. Uh, this is W-W-D-E-A-D, which I only assume is Wilma Wiggins is dead. Uh, Mary will die innocently. Crap. That sucks. B-J where we want. Hey! What do you mean by that? Oh, how do I even get out of here? Oh, okay. Uh, hi! You weren't here before. Strange looking blackbird is perched on one of the tree's branches. Not a very good idea. Uh, nice birdie? Caw! Caw! Beware! The end is near! Ha 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 ha! What an odd bird. I think I would have reacted a bit differently than Ben Jordan, but that's just me. Ben Jordan is taking this whole thing very well, I think. I would be kind of scared if I were him. Anyway, uh, I think we should probably tell Mary what's going on. If not about Mary going to die, which she probably already knows. We could at least tell her about the diary. I think that might be one of the conversations that pops up. Yeah. Look what I found inside Smalem Tower. What is it? An old diary from 50 years ago. But look at this entry. You show Mary the entry about the Smalem Witch Cult. So there's been a secret witch cult operating in this town for over 50 years? Yes. They're the ones that killed the McBee children. Well, it certainly seems like good evidence in my favor. I'll say. I'm gonna go see if I can find Constable McGee so I can show him. If I can find him. He'll have no choice but to let you out. Good luck, Ben. <laughs> see you soon. Goodbye. Okay. Well, now we have to find Constable McGee. I'm assuming he's probably not home because he never seems to be home. But we'll try anyway. No. Just as I thought. Um... Is he in the hotel? No. Oh, Constable McGee, where are you? I hope he's not dead. That seems to be what happens in these kinds of games. You go looking for someone to tell them something important, and then they die. Or to find out something important. Are you in here investigating like you should since you're a constable? Why no, you're not! And poor Wilma Wiggins is still just lying here. Does no one care? Oh, Wilma. If it were up to me, I'd give you a proper burial. Maybe he's just hanging out in the woods. Oh, snap! He- What the- seem to have stumbled upon a secret meeting. Luckily, the participants don't seem to notice you, even though you're standing, like, right in their line of vision. Is everything in place? Yes, Master. Tomorrow's ceremony will go as planned. And the girl? Still in prison, though she con concerns me. And why is that? I fear she may be getting too close. We shall discuss this later. I must go prepare for tomorrow. You know what you have to do. Uh oh, you better get out of here before they see you. Uh, well, that was an interesting turn of events. I guess we'll go tell Mary about it. I mean, we do tell Mary everything, but this is kind of... necessary, I'd say. Oh dear. Maybe the constable was the guy who wrote the witch code on the on the tree. But my question was, who is he talking to? What's the ceremony they're gonna do tomorrow? So Mary, um, I have some bad news. Mary, you're not gonna believe this. What 
is it? I was out in the woods and I saw Constable McGee. He's one of them. He's a witch. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. He was talking to some guy in a black cloak, and guys in black cloaks are witches. I had a feeling there was something not right about this place. I have to get you out of here, Mary. They're gonna kill you. Oh, Ben, that's so sweet of you, but how are you going to get this cell open? I haven't really thought about that yet. I'll come up with a plan, and when I do, I'll bust you out of here. Very well. I'll be waiting. <laughs> See you soon. Goodbye. Uh, well, normally I'd try the crowbar, but I don't think the crowbar works. Yeah, the crowbar is no match for it. So we'll have to try something else. I can't remember if I have to go in here or not. No. Alright. Well, I think I have to save here. Let's see. Oh! Ah, there you are, Jordan. I've been looking for you. Constable McGee, I thought I wouldn't see you in the woods, did you? <laughs> Thought maybe you'd solve the case? You killed the McBee children, didn't you? You were going to frame poor Mary and make yourself look like some big hero. Well, you're half right about that, but your half-assed theories bore me. The truth is, I've come to stop you snooping around. Your leash has become too slack. What are you talking about? Don't think I need to waste my time explaining myself. What, are you gonna kill me? Uh, of course not. I'm no murderer. But I seriously doubt you'll, be come, you'll come along quietly, so I'm gonna have to use this tranquilizer gun to make sure you don't put up a fight. Uh, walk away? We can talk this out? Oh shit, I didn't read that. Suddenly everything gets fuzzy and you black out. But we do survive, that's the thing. You finally wake up and find yourself tied up in a very small room. Your pockets feel slightly emptier, too. Oh, great. Is our crowbar gone? You hear muffled voices nearby. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> they still let us have our key in our book. <laughs> I like that. Um, let's see. You're in a tiny dark room. You guess it must be a storage closet under a staircase. It's you, Ben Jordan, currently tied up. It's a door, currently the only exit. And a beam of light is coming through this small hole in the wall, but we can't seem to get out. Maybe if we struggle a bit? Yeah, the ropes are kind of tight. Struggle a bit more. You think you just felt the ropes loosen a little. This time you frantically wiggle around. The ropes around your hand definitely feel a lot looser. Constable McGee must not have been paying too much attention during the knot tying classes. You manage to loosen the rope and free yourself from bondage. <laughs> Yay! Do you have rope? Yes! You kept the rope. It's a length of rope, which didn't do a very good job at keeping you restrained. Okay, can we get out? Oh. Okay, well... Can we look through here? Okay, there we go. Peer through the hole. I trust everything is still going according to plan. Yes, Master. I have taken care of everything. The sacrifice is being prepared. Aye, everything is in readiness. I am pleased to hear this. You have served me well, Brother McGee. I must go and rest now. I shall see you this evening. Farewell, Master. <laughs> you hear the sound of someone exiting a door and someone else climbing up the stairs. Someone in the room above you begins pacing back and forth. Ooh. Whoa. No? Well, maybe that's a hint. Maybe if we... You know, every time I do this, I feel like I'm trying to hang myself. But that's not the case. Toss the rope onto the hook. Tug on the rope as hard as you can while it's squeaking. 
The weight of the person on the loose board and your pulling causes it to collapse. What in the blazes? Ah, I'm stuck. Alright, uh, well, get me out of here. Well, looks as though you are now my prisoner, eh, Constable? Jordan, I swear when I get down to this hole, I'm gonna go down there and beat you senseless. Oh, come now, Constable. That's no way to treat your guests, is it? Now, how about you just toss me down the key to the store and we'll call it even? Ha! That's a laugh. You'll not be getting a key from me. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to figure out how to escape from this place next time.